Welcome back, YouTube fam. So today we're gonna be talking about, okay, I got my first deal. Boom. Now what? <laughs> so first of all, I wanna say congratulations if you're watching this video and you just got your first deal. Um, I know what that feels like and it's kind of one of the best feelings in the world. But when I see you <laughs> Right? You've persevered, you've tried, you've been doing everything that you can to try to get this deal. And this is something that happened to me, right? So I was uh, about a week or two before I was gonna close on my first deal, or a month, I think, and I started thinking, all this time, I've been thinking about, I have to get my first deal, I've gotta get my first deal, I've gotta get my first deal, right? Now I'm gonna get it, now what am I gonna do? right and so you realize very quickly that this business you, you can really never stop working if all you do is wholesale so you get your first deal you got to work for the other one you get your first deal you got to go for the other one right so in the beginning i think that, that a really good goal is okay i need to get at least one deal right you do one deal and so then you know basically you can do this you realize okay i can do this um, and I would say after you get your first deal, the number one thing that I, that I did myself is you need to review your key performance indicators, your KPIs. You need to realize how many leads have I, how many, like me, I cold called, right? So how many people did I reach out to? How many, how long did it take me? right? How many leads that I have to generate before I got to this lead? When I finally got this deal under contract, how long was it from the day that I contacted this lead to the day that we closed? How long did that take? For me, my first deal took 45 days. From the day that I got the lead to the day that I finally closed it, uh, it took 45 days to get that. So it was actually really quick. You have to review all these things. I would see how, I was cold calling at the time. How many people did you reach out to? How long did it take you to reach out to all those people, right? On in an hour time basis. How many leads did you have in your system before you got this lead? right and how long from contract to close how long did that take these are things that i would review i would also review how did you get your buyer right because personally me uh, my first deal was done in a different state and i got that lead 10 days when i was you know 10 days from the day that i started cold calling in that market i got my first lead and i closed very quickly so very different from the market that I actually live in. But I would say then um, with my buyers, I didn't have any buyers, right? I didn't have any buyers in that market. I was literally just starting it out. I was just starting fresh. Um, so what did I do? I utilized a realtor, right? But if you have a buyer's list, right, already that you've been growing over time, then you need to see, okay, well, how did it go with this buyer? I, I would definitely review even with the transaction. You gotta learn also from your buyer you know, there's different types of buyers. There are buyers that are very analytical. There are buyers that'll take some time to get back to you, right, with their offer price. There are others that will jump on it, and though they're really hungry buyers. There are people that will close hard, with a hard money loan, or they'll close with cash or a private lender, etc. Um, you have to, I would sit back after you did your first deal, before you start like, you know, <laughs> trying to run the world, I would sit back and analyze how did this deal go? what got me to get actually close this deal review your key performance indicators but also analyze okay what did i learn from my first deal right from my first deal i i learned that I, I actually am really helping people by this business a lot of people talk about the money and all this stuff but the seller was in dire need of my help if i couldn't help her out and multiple wholesalers tried and really just didn't I feel like didn't go the, the extra mile, but then she was gonna be back in the same situation she was in. So I, you have to review with your first deal, what did I learn from that, right? And what did I learn on the buyer's area too? What did I learn from my buyer, right? What kind of deals do my buyers like? Because finally you're presenting an opportunity to them and you should you know, be reaching out to them and see, hey, did you get my email, my text, or however you reached out? do you like it or not if you don't like it why don't you like it and start to realize you start to learn um, what your buyers like what your buyer what zip code they're interested in right you you get that all from conversation so I would say first deal after you get your first deal analyze what went well what went wrong right and what you can learn from the process and then the second thing I would say is you need you can't take your foot off of the gas pedal
right? So how do you continually start getting um, deal flow going, right? Where you're not doing one deal every three months, but you're doing a deal uh, every month, every week, every, you know, whatever, how, how depends on what your goal is. I would say you, you need to put your foot on the gas as much as you can. So the bloodline of your business is lead generation. Whether you're doing that yourself or whether you outsource that, you need to make sure that the lead generation is being taken care of, right? And then from there, I, I would say there's like mainly four parts to the business. I would say lead generation is one. After that is conversion. So do you need to get better at sales? Third, I would say would it be disposition. So how, how good is your buyers list? Are you making new relationships with new buyers? And fourth, I would say would be the, the transaction coordination of everything, right? Where deals can go to die in <laughs> transaction coordination. So you can either outsource some of these things. You can, um, as someone that's just starting out, if you're really good at sales and you need to just convert, then you can JV with someone that has a better buyer's list than you do, right? JV on the deal. Basically, they're, they're, they already have part of the equation figured out and it just gives you the, the, the ability to go right back to your leads, close, you know, get more leads under contract and then you know, JV, obviously you're building a buyer's list, but this is just an example. You're building a buyer's list while you're doing all of this, but until you figure every part of the business out, you can use other people, you can collaborate with other people, right? And leverage their strengths. Whatever you're not good at, they may be good at. So you can use other people in that regard and it's a win-win situation for everyone. So I would say congratulations to everyone that got their first deal or are still working towards it. Um, once you get it, definitely analyze it. And then last but not least, also be sure that you don't take your foot off the gas when it comes to every part of the business, but specifically lead generation. Thank you guys for, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any other questions, always reach out to in my social media accounts. I do message, I have gotten messages from different people. I do respond back to you. So if you have a specific question, please respond, please send a comment like the video if you liked it of course if you didn't like it it's okay put the you know put the negative sign i don't care i'm just trying to bring out what you guys need so whatever you need help with put it in the comments if i can't help you i most likely know someone that can so follow me guys and we will continue on on this wholesaling real estate journey